Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing well and having a great day. If you're new and just found me, I'm glad you did. I hope that you like and subscribe to my content. I talk about moving to and living in Portugal as well as I throw in some Europe travel news as I get it. Today I want to talk about something that if you have an apartment or will be obtaining one either through rent or through sale, anywhere in Portugal, you may come across an odd odor once in a while in your bathroom. And it's not from what you think. It's not from somebody who was just in there. I'm going to give you some reasons as to why you may smell this particular odor and then maybe a couple of things that you can do to help mitigate it. So let's start off. One of the main reasons that you might have kind of this musty or odd sm smell in the bathroom, I will also say it can happen with the kitchen sink too, is the basic plumbing. In Portugal, it is rare to have what's called P-tubes, as you can see from this photo here, where there's water that gets trapped in the line and that helps prevent gases uh, from coming back up through uh, the plumbing and into your bathroom or into your kitchen area. So with the lack of P-tubes, for example, we have where we would call L-tubes. Things go down, they, they take a right, and then they go into the wall, into the main apartment's uh, plumbing system. So we do get smells once in a while uh, because of that. So the practical reason, number one, is the lack of the P-tube plumbing here in Portugal. I will say if you have a brand new apartment, I've been in a few brand new complexes, and some of them have had uh, P-tube plumbing. The second one can be from renovation. Could be renovating your apartment or it could be someone above you or below you that is doing construction work. We have an apartment below us that's been renovated over the last few months and we can tell when they're working on plumbing, maybe taking out old plumbing or installing new plumbing because there is a more pungent odor that comes in through the bathroom. So we know that somebody's working on something. So that's something that you can't really do uh, or, or you can't, there's nothing you can do about that. You just have to wait for the people above you or below you to get the apartment uh, redone to where that smell will start to go away. A third more common reason for a particular odor in the bathroom might be mold. It is fairly common in Portugal to uh, deal with mold. So I would recommend whether you have a spacious bathroom or you have a small bathroom, you get a little dehumidifier and use that, especially when you're doing the shower that keep it on for an extra 20 to 30 minutes after you shower and it'll help dry out the bathroom area and help prevent mold from growing because that is also a, a common reason that you will have a smell or odor in the bathroom. I'm gonna jump quickly to the kitchen and if you happen to have a smell coming from the kitchen sink, I would advise, please make sure when you're doing dishes or you're cleaning vegetables, doing things like that, you don't let anything go down the drain. Try your best to use the strainer there to keep small food article, particles from going down, put them in the garbage instead. And then also uh, when you're done with doing dishes and you're cleaning out the kitchen sink, put a little stopper in there because if you put a stopper in, that will obviously keep the smell from coming up through the evening. So where you wake up in the morning, you don't smell anything if you have any smell coming from the kitchen sink. Now getting back to the, the bathroom, some of the things that you can do to help mitigate is A, the mold, making sure you have the dehumidifier. B, cleaning, uh, making sure maybe weekly you're cleaning the, the toilet basin, the shower or bathtub and the sink to make sure uh, you don't have anything growing. You may need to get some Drano or something that will uh, be used uh, to maybe purge or get things through some drainage areas, either in your apartment or the apartments below you. So that may be something that you need. I will say we, as well as our neighbors who are local Portuguese, they've kind of given us some things about squeezing lime or lemon juice into the drains has helped. Uh, also pouring vinegar in. I will say something that we do as well is sometimes putting some baking soda in the drains has helped mitigate the smell. We do have an air freshener in our bathroom and I don't want to make 
this video sound like there's a, this really bad smell that's never going to go away. That's, that's not the case. But we do have an air freshener that we keep in the bathroom just so when we have uh, family and friends over, they don't get uh, like, hey, what's that weird smell? Because we may go weeks without any smell, and then we may go four or five days in a row with an odd smell. So having an air freshener in there helps minimize, uh, you know, more of the embarrassment if people come over and go, hmm, what's going on in, in the, the bathroom? I will say this is a conversation that comes up often amongst expats, like how does your bathroom smell and what can you do about it? I haven't come across anyone where the bathroom smells on a daily basis. In most cases for us, it smells maybe once a week or a few times a month. And sometimes it has something to do with what people have put down other drains. If there's a part of the plumbing in the apartment that's backed up, it could be time of year as well that plays a part in it. So just wanted to let you know this. I, I know this is an odd area to hit on, but as I'm trying to give you a full scope of what you will be getting into and working through and dealing with on a daily basis in Portugal. I want to make sure you have some of the mainstream information that all the content providers are giving as well as the some of the not so traditional stuff. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and enjoy your travels.